The Registered Education Savings Plan, or RESP, can be a game changer for families. And it's much more than a savings account. It's a powerful tool that can shape your child or grandchild's future. And it's simple. As a parent or a grandparent, you're the subscriber and your child or grandchild is the beneficiary. Simply by contributing to an RESP, you unlock valuable government grant money as much as 20% with a lifetime cap per child of $7,200. But here's the kicker. When it comes to planning for the future, there are some things that we should consider. As a parent, we know that there is a difference between what we want our kids to do and what they actually do. So what happens if you have all this money tied up in an RESP and the kids don't go? Well, if there's more than one child in the family, there are some opportunities to transfer the funds, but what if that isn't an option, then what? Well, the contributions to the plan, they come out tax-free, the education grant is returned to the government, and the rest of the plan, which is the growth, pays a 20% penalty tax. In Canada, we're used to naming beneficiaries in order to keep things simplified, but in the case of an estate situation, RESPs are different. It's the subscriber who is usually a parent or grandparent that needs to be addressed. So in other words, make sure that in your will, if you have an RESP, that you name another person as a subscriber, the beneficiaries will stay the same. One of the biggest pitfalls I see is grandparents setting up one single RESP for multiple grandkids. Make it simple. Don't put all of your grandkids on the same account. <laughs> Instead, have one account per family to simplify estate planning. Because ultimately, RESPs are the best vehicle for education savings in Canada because they've got government grants and tax benefits that just can't be ignored. So don't let this opportunity pass you by Put me on your team, give me a call today to help ensure that you're making the most of your RESP.